Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here bringing you episode 8 of my series Who Performs Best, BPL Striker Edition. In this episode, Sturridge will be going up against Torres. This should be a decent matchup as Torres is quite pacey, sorry, Sturridge is quite pacey and Torres is usually OP on FIFA, so it should be a good matchup. Uh, next game, I will be changing the team around um, just because it's the quarterfinals, so I thought I might as well give it a little bit of a twist. But anyway, let's just get straight on to the games. Okay, that did end 3-1 to the opponent. That was probably a fair reflection of the game. I really didn't perform very well. Um, but anyway, it's not about performance, it's about the match ratings. Sturridge got a 7.0 and Torres got a 7.4, so that's quite close. Uh, usually there's a lot of difference in game one. I had 10 shots, 7 on target. He had 17, 9 on target. I did have a lot more possession, but I didn't do much with it. But anyway, here's game two. Okay, so I won that game 3-0, uh, I think that was a fair reflection of the result, I did play very well that game. Sturridge got an 8.2 and Torres got a 7.5, so although it was 3-0, neither of the strikers really did too much. I had 7 shots, 2 on target, he had 5, 2 on target, but I had a lot more possession and was creating a lot more chances, but I just couldn't get the final shot, but anyway, on to game 3.
Okay, so this game finished 2 2, which means I lost 1 1 1 and drew 1. I think I deserved the win on this, as you'll see by the stats a bit later. Um, Sturridge got a 6.2 and Torres a 6.9, so overall these rates have been very bad for the, both the strikers. So it will be interesting to see who has went through. I had 10 shots, 8 on target, he had 8, 2 on target, uh, sorry, 4 on target, so I doubled the amount he had on target. But anyway, as I say, it's not about the result, it's about the match ratings, so I will review the match ratings and see who's went into the quarterfinal. Okay, I'm back for the match ratings. Um, this, like, I'll say a little bit about the players before I start the match rating, but it's going to be a bit like last episode. I mean, I know I did win 3-0 this time on one of the matches, but I'm, it was the same day as last episode, and I wasn't having a good day on FIFA, so I can't really give an accurate review of the players. Like, they'll probably be better when you use them, but for me... I think Torres was the better out of the two. Sturridge didn't really do a lot. I mean, he did break away a lot, but most of his shots were either straight at the keeper or wide, whereas Torres seemed to be there at the right time and was a lot better at headering. And, yeah, just in general, was like the Torres from FIFA 12 and 13, whereas Sturridge, I was expecting to be, like, really, really good because of his stats and because he's a striker, but... He wasn't that good for me, but this is just three games, so I can't really give like a great in-depth analysis, especially since I wasn't doing well on FIFA anyway, but they'd, they'd probably still be very good in a BPL team, but as I say, I can't really give a full fair reflection. But anyway, on to the match ratings. Game 1, Sturridge got 7.0, Torres 7.4. In game 2, Sturridge got 8.2, Torres 7.5. In game 3, Sturridge got 6.2, Torres got 6.9. So, the average match ratings were Sturridge 7.14 and Torres 7.28. So that does mean that Torres has won it by a little bit, I suppose, by 1.4, 0.14 which is quite a lot in this competition, actually. Um, yeah, well, now all the last 16 matches have been completed, and we have our quarter-finalists. Um, I'll, I'll show you who the quarter-finalists are at the start of next episode, but next game will be Aguero versus Defoe. So, yeah, that'll be for the first semi-final. Ists to see who goes through, obviously. That, that was a bit of rambling, sorry. But anyway, if you have enjoyed, then please hit that like button. It really does help my channel. Subscribe for daily FIFA 14 videos. And peace.